Jen Crevasse, Jekyll Bates. Good morning from Bullshed Storefront here in Ackworth, Georgia. We've got a lot of new stuff to show you guys. It's been a long time since I've done a shop update, but we are gonna do one this morning. Let's get started. One thing you guys might be noticing as we push into this area is that I've got a lot more art supplies here than I did prior um, because I'm doing a lot more art in the studio. I'm kind of merging both of the studios together, both the airbrush and the drawing, painting, sketching. So I'm trying to get some stuff together for all the upcoming projects in 2022. Other than that, it's pretty much the same. I've got myself a little bit more room here and the windows are tinted. Thank you, Kevin Fanna, for doing that. One of the things that's new to me this year is that I've started to, I've finally assimilated into the fact that I work for a company called Bull Shad. And uh, I'm starting to paint some shad, which I normally left to a lot of the other gifted and talented painters like TK and Daniel because I just think they're so flipping good at it. Um, but Mike's like, you know what? You just need to do your own thing. So we've kind of started um, playing around with a couple of different ideas. And I really like what I've been coming up with. Uh, I think that they're decent shad. I'm trying to put some depth in my own spin to patterns that I'm doing now. And I think that part of that is just um, you get so complacent with the patterns that you're good at um, that a lot of times it's, I wouldn't say it's scary, but it's just um, something that you have to learn and something that I've been trying to overcome as an artist and, and get into that next level of work is getting outside of my comfort zone. And that's one of the things that Mike is really good at is he, he gently pushes and is very patient. Um, and, to, and we keep bouncing ideas off of one another until we get it right. So this is something that I'm pretty excited about getting into the shad genre. And I, I always kind of poo-pooed it. I was like, oh, it's just a shad. But shad, come to find out, are one of the most, yes, this is color shifting. Um, it's green and then it's purple. This is a legit color shifter. I showed you guys a little bit about that towards the end of the video, uh, the long video from start to finish on doing a 33 piece run. Something else that I feel like I've really evolved as an artist on have been my perch, my yellow perch patterns. Uh, I believe that my depth is getting there. And we talked a little bit about that yesterday as far as depth in the last video you guys saw it. Again, I'm not sure when this is going to be scheduled or air. Um, but I'm really trying to do patterns from the inside up now so that it looks a little bit more natural. Uh, I, I think I'm getting pretty close with this perch. Drop me a comment below and let me know what you think about that. I grew up in Maryland and fished the Pennsylvania Northeastern area as a kid. So that's one of the things that I became really familiar with and they're excellent eating fish as well. So this is definitely one of my, this is not an easy pattern to do either. This takes a lot of time. It's probably one of my longest patterns and doing a run of 30 or 40 of these takes me about five to six hours because there's just so many layers to put into these. But let me know, let me know what you think about this, uh, this yellow perch pattern. I love it. Um, I'm really excited about it and I'd like to see it keep evolving. Although I'm not sure where I would go next with this. But again, happy for now. What do you guys think? Something else that we've kind of not really put to the side at all, but that we need to start concentrating on more in the custom world are these really kick-ass Kevin Moreau inspired and designed rats. This is a true walking rat. Uh, it's a top water. It floats, walks on a dream. I mean, there's just not much. It's such a versatile creature and I've been really happy uh, with the paint that I've been putting on these as well. So this is the Moreau Rat. We're using Catch Tails. This is uh, Catch Outdoors, Kelly Barefoot's company, and these are his original Danny Joe worms. So love these. They're true floating worms. This one happens to glow in the dark, 
which is why it's almost clear. Uh, but he is known for having true floating tails on these Danny Joe worms. And we love them. We use them uh, fairly different colors. We This is a little bit of gray. And then I've got some, some albinos with the pink tails. Get you a tight shot of that. And just, I'm having fun. Like, I'm really having a lot of fun doing different things and uh, just really thinking out of the box. And again, Mike really pushes to get patterns to where he's happy with them. And he's real, he's picky, but he gets to be because he's Mike Buca. But loving, loving, loving these Moreau walking rats with the Danny Joe Catch Outdoors floating tails. They walk so well. Um, they will be available at the storefront. Something else that I hadn't done before, but Mike asked me to do is to throw on a legitimate per, um, sorry to say perch, crawfish for some of these dredgers. This is the dredger seven inch. It's a 10 foot diver. And one cool thing about this is that the, uh, the lip in here is not glued in. It's actually a, a, a line through. So you've got steel pins holding this lip together, this lip is not gonna come off the bait. And we've done lots of um, live target and uh, really come up with some consistent 10 feet on this. And then on the larger ones, on the larger dredgers, they are the dredger 18s and they are over here. We've got some TJ Hatfield, some Daniels, some TKs. There's a lot of different artists that we're going to focus on my stuff because this is my shop update, but there are a lot of really, really good artists that paint with Mike as well. So some of TJ's stuff, but these are legitimately 18 feet. And um, Cody Kirk, one of our pro staff, has done quite a bit of extensive testing. We've got the live target videos to prove it very excited and here's uh, just a few of my shad patterns that i've been doing to show you that as well love some of this stuff that's happening so those are the 18 so lots of new baits as well uh these were unveiled this past year at the gathering which is a swim baits only event that happens in virginia at rockahawk presented by Swimbait Universe. This year we had Swimbait Culture. Big Gus was out to see us and hung out with us for the whole weekend. Super cool, love the community spirit. Um, so shout outs to both Wayne and his admin staff on uh, Swimbait Universe and Big Gus, which you guys probably know as a very accomplished tattoo artist, graphic designer, cartoonist, just all around wicked talent at Swimbait Culture. So that's the dredgers. And then briefly, these are the eight inch glides in shad. But I'm really loving my new shad patterns. Very excited about them. Seven inch gill glides. That is BB, of course. And then some of mine as well. And then uh, my Instagram stuff. This morning was uh, the koi, and I've got a couple of those, which I love doing koi. It's a niche pattern, um, definitely a good Cali pattern, definitely a good California pattern. But yeah, you can see that there's some other artists in here as well. Daniel's in here, TK, or TK Stanley's in here, Bill Barton, of course, and some of Daniel's stuff. So we can throw you a little juice from these guys as well because they're just phenomenal amazing artists and we sure do love them and we love their talent and creativity walking back down we've got oh my goodness look who it is it's mike and paul buca wow welcome home boys how did y'all do in florida you look tired we came close we really did it's oh man those birds are hard to hunt 
they put us in the far by far the best place they've ever been and we managed to, to skunk oh man well yeah. there's always next time for those of you that don't know who i'm talking to this is mike's dad paul and he is an artist in his own right and a really really amazing person to be oh, around <laughs> it's so true just a regular guy yeah, yeah i know sir. well that's the cool thing about the family is that um you don't pretend to be anything other than what you truly yeah. are yeah. and that means a lot that's true that's true well, <laughs> You're great also uh, with, with the painting you whatever. do, it's just, it's just eye popping. <laughs> Thank you so much. Great work. One thing that's notable, now that we've talked to Paul and Mike just a little bit, is this amazing replica that Donnie Poor did. It is uh, supposed to be one of these amazing 14-pound bass that Vance caught down in Florida. Unfortunately, they just could not find a replica big enough uh, but this is the biggest one they could. I think he did a really good job at the detail and uh, and craftsmanship on this replica. And that's our 11-inch bull shad sitting in its mouth because that's what caught it. One more cool thing that's happening is that uh, Brian Best over at Anarchy Model Stencils in the UK has put together one of his first lure brochures that's featuring a lot of really cool artists on there. Um, coming soon to a few other places but I love that he's featuring a lot of different painters in the community some really really cool stuff so this is the new brochure that's out with Brian and Anarchy and uh, a bunch of us and if you are curious as to where we use some of our stencils and where they come from anarchymodels.co.uk everything from this is where he started out he started out doing models and uh, some really wild stuff here and then a lot of us in the fishing community got to know him through him sending us some stencils so just wanted to give you guys a little spotlight over at Anarchy thank you so much for being a community supporter we do love you so i also wanted to take just a little bit of time and show you the stuff that has not been cleared yet this is uh one of the patterns that i've been working on in a shad and a glide i do a lot of glides here at bull shad we got a white crappie a little blush on the cheeks and you can see the paper mounds white crappie generally if you're looking at them like this they have a almost stripes going down them so the way to do this is to just shoot a little bit harder in certain areas one two three and four this is pretty easy to see those more defined darker spots this one as well and then just a little lighter shading in there and the last thing that I want to show you guys is from the spray session yesterday that you guys saw so these are the clear coated baits they're almost ready to come off dipped them all in kbs and i wanted to show you how that color shift ended up just a real pretty pattern on these duo realis on the Strike King 10XD. And on a couple of the other baits, just real quick down the line. A little color shift on these as well. So that is what we've got for you guys today. It's all the news that's fit to print. If I can get this back on there. Ha ha ha. On these little, whoa. We'll pick that up in a second. Your little flat sides, super thin, fun little baits. That's what I've got for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for hanging out on this video. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I will talk to you later. Cheers and happy casting from Jekyll Baits.